that was an intense night. It doesn't look like it's letting up. It's getting worse by the hour, I'd say even. I gotta go find some diesel. That's gonna be a pain. Opening those back doors and filling up with diesel. Hopefully I can face the van away from the blizzard because it's just gonna fill the entire back of the van. So that's something to think about if you can have a separate jerry can to fill if you need to fill inside, which Never really wanted to have the tank inside, but here we are. Man, it's bad. Okay, we are in frame. We hit record. We've got recording space. I think we're good to go. So today's video is going to be all about insulation. I got a question on my last video about why didn't I insulate, and I've been mean to touch on that, and it really deserves its own video, I would say, because it's one of those highly debated, probably one of the more, probably the most highly debated aspect of a van build is, um, other than should you have a sink or not, is should you insulate? Do you need insulation? How much insulation? What to use? And the options are endless. It's really one of those things that uh, you can do endless research on it and still come up with no idea what's going to work best for you. So I've got some talking points here. I don't usually do that. Usually I just turn on the camera and start yapping, but we'll see if this keeps me on track or not. So first of all, uh, for my build, I knew in the climate that I'm in, you know, negative 40 to positive 40, anywhere in between, lots of humidity, I was prioritizing ventilation over insulation. First of all, I should probably touch on what insulation is. It doesn't make the space warmer or colder. It just slows how fast that interior space becomes the temperature of the outside space, really. So I'll just say right away, if you have an air conditioner, if you're you know, taxing a battery bank for an air conditioner and you're in Arizona or in the desert, yes, you definitely want insulation because that's gonna directly correlate to how much power you're using with your AC unit. That, that'd be a huge difference. For me, the only temperature regulation devices I have in here is the diesel heater which if I run that thing on low, even if it's negative 20, negative 30, it still uses the same amount of fuel and it still stays warm enough in here to where it's comfortable. Insulation, I don't think it's important as a lot of people make it out to be. Uh, it's one of those most, I'd say it's the most highly debated van build topic because you never see anyone, oh, don't go with that DC, DC charger. Oh, no, no, no. People are pretty steadfast in that. You know, diesel heaters, the creme de la creme of heat you know, vinyl floor, it's nice and thin, waterproof, <clears throat> stuff like that. Most people do agree. Insulation, you'll never find two people that agree. And I watched a lot of videos on it and I didn't like how anyone did it. I hate styrofoam. I just inherently hate that shit. I hate the sound of squeaking styrofoam. I couldn't imagine if I put that under my floor and then while I drove, I got like a squeaky sound from you know, styrofoam on styrofoam or styrofoam on metal and it was a squeak that I couldn't get to and it just I had to live with it my floor is insulated I'll touch on that real quick it's got the factory carpet underneath half inch of plywood and then my vinyl floor that alone keeps a lot of the noise road noise down for when you're driving down the road and it insulates the heat from the exhaust right here in this area is where the exhaust is and you can really feel in the summer after a long drive you can feel the heat coming up through the floor so i've got the factory carpet a half inch sheet of plywood and then my vinyl flooring on top of that and i didn't use any screws or anything to go through the floor so it's all technically a floating floor but in most people's opinion that still does count as insulation now why did i do that i wouldn't i didn't want to build a wood slat furring strip frame or whatever people do and then put foam in between. I don't think it matters what you do to your floor just because it's plastic. It's essentially plastic. When I wake up in the morning, even with the diesel heater running all night, the floor is like an ice cube. If I don't put my feet on these mats right away, it's bone chilling to put your feet just on the bare floor. So I now understand why people put heated floors in vans. When I first saw that, I thought, are you kidding me? Heated floor in a van? But it's pretty cold. It doesn't really matter what you do to the floor, in my opinion. I think 
I think it's cold either way, unless you put down a carpet or, you know, wear fuzzy slippers. The roof, I do agree with insulating the roof. Heat rises, as we all know, and that's the only place I've ever seen condensation was on the single layer portions of the roof when I didn't have the rear headliner in. Um, that's the only place I ever seen moisture, which people always ask, do you get moisture? Do you get moisture? If you're sleeping in the van and you've got, and you're cooking it all, you have moisture in the van. It's just a matter of how good is your ventilation? How are you going to expel that moisture? And if you've seen my other videos, you know that I prioritize ventilation. I've got a max air fan. I've got the wind guards that go on the window here so that you can have it cracked. And here I've got the screens that can go on the window so that you can crack them in the summer or have them right down because this goes over the frame of the window. And then you don't get bugs in and you can have a cross ventilation going on. You know, air comes in through here and then out the max air fan out the roof vent. Because that vent, if you don't know, is reversible. You can have it uh, either pulling air in or pushing air in or pulling air out, pushing air out. So these windows open like this, but then in order to put a screen or some sort of seal in here to keep bugs out, I just didn't want to mess around with that. And those windows, when you go by the van, if you're doing the stealth in the city thing, those are a dead giveaway that you're inside the van and also leaves you open to uh, burglaries and whatnot. These, these windows are actually really easy to pop open and then someone can just slide their hand in, unlock the door, let themselves in. If you've got an Astro van, that's definitely something to keep in mind. Um, why didn't I insulate my walls? Because they, I definitely didn't add insulation to them. Uh, because of these guys, the windows. You're already fighting a losing battle in a passenger van. The R value of windows is pretty much non-existent. So all your heat is pretty much dumping out there. Now I've got window coverings that you've seen in other videos that are a blackout curtain that I've doubled up. So it's doubled up polyester blackout curtain. And it actually does add a bit of insulation value to the van. With these up, you can really tell that it uh, takes a lot longer for the heat to dissipate. You pretty much run them all the time. I just don't have them up now because I wanted to get some more light in the van. By not having it insulated, I can easily check for moisture and mold. That's that's one thing, you know, you should do a deep clean on your van every now and again. And it's as easy as popping off a panel or on the sides that I've just got plywood, I can take out my, my nuts and bolts out of the nut inserts and then just, you know, tip the plywood forward, have a look in behind, clean in behind. Not a big fan of most insulating materials, really. That uh, fiberglass, that pink fiberglass, you know, pink panther insulation, I can't stand that stuff. I can't stand how it makes you itchy. Really, that stuff is meant to be in a static house sealed in the wall. Like, it's not supposed to be in a moving, breathing thing like a van where, you know, you're disturbing that fiberglass insulation all the time. And then say, if you need to run wires or make a repair, and then you're opening that panel up and then all that fiberglass falls all over your house or your living space. I don't know. I, I'm just not a big fan of it. Um, I don't think that stuff has any place in the van, to be honest. I think the, the wool, like you want the natural, like a uh, sheep's wool. Everyone's situation's different, but I didn't insulate because I wanted to maximize interior space. The only reason you would really need it is for making the diesel heater more efficient, which, like I say, I run that on low at negative 20, negative 30, and it's completely fine. You should have your roof vent crack no matter what. If you're sleeping in an enclosed space, even with a GM, an older GM with the door seals that are basically for show on this, you should still really have a little bit of ventilation, um, just in the event that You've got anything pooling. You don't know if someone's gonna pull up beside you and they've got a diesel heater, let's say, and they've got their exhaust pointed right at your van and maybe the wind's going that way and their exhaust goes under your vehicle or even someone just pulls up you know, in the middle of the night. Let's say you're in the Walmart parking lot or wherever. Someone pulls up, they've got one of those side exit pipes at the back and it's shooting right under your vehicle. They don't know that they're doing it to you. You don't know because you're asleep. 
it's just something to think about. If you're putting insulation in, I think you should seal it. You should put like a, a plastic vapor barrier in between so that you know you're, you can be pretty confident that you're not getting moisture in behind there that you can't get access to. Uh, people underestimate how good the insulation, the factory insulation is. Insulation over insulation, easy to see any potential mold. It's a small van, so you're trying to maximize your, your headroom and your living space. Uh, we've got leaky seals. Doesn't matter how well you insulate this van, one of these old GM vans, air is going to find its way in and out. You're just trying to slow it down. The diesel heater being overpowered for the uh, small space. I hate squeaks and styrofoam, can't stand it. Floor is technically insulated, so is the roof. Would I add more? Probably more on the roof, for sure. I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. I didn't expect the last build video to get as many views as it did. I don't know if they were warranted either, but uh, I do appreciate it. I appreciate the likes. I appreciate anyone who subscribes. If you've got any video requests, just put them down in the comments. I'll get to them. Uh, I've got a ton of footage of the build that I still haven't been able to edit and put up, but uh, in due time, in due time, I do apologize for that. I'd like to get a little bit more consistent with the videos and that'll come in time once I get better at editing. It's, it really does take hours and hours to edit a video and the more you start messing around with music and stuff like that, it, it exponentially makes it take longer and longer. So it's, it's one of those things. But I do appreciate your time. I appreciate you watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a good one.